There's one simple thing that can make or break your fitness. It's often overlooked, but everyone needs to pay attention to it. And we're going to talk about it. We are Grab Life by the Bulls. I'm Chris Bull. And I'm Anne-Marie Bull. Today, we are going to talk about the one thing that's possibly holding you back from your fitness. And it's not doing more weight, doing different exercises, taking different supplements. It is resting. And nobody wants to hear that more isn't better because we're conditioned, especially here in glorious America, <laughs> that more is more. But it's not always true. I mean, when it comes to dieting, for example, it's the general consensus that if we eat a little bit less, that's good. If we eat a lot less, that's better. That's not necessarily true. And the same goes for exercise. Yeah. So. I think everyone has a friend that works out for seven days a week, every single day, and they're not getting much fitter or they're not reaching their fitness goals. They're not hitting their PRs that they thought they were going to. And it's because they aren't resting. Yes. And in addition to all of those things, they're probably sick, getting hurt more than other people. You can't quite get to the next level or have really good, really productive workouts, or maybe they're having trouble losing body fat. That's a huge thing too. And then people who get into this rut often think, well, I'm just used to my exercise stimulus. I need to do more. When really the key thing that would yeah. help them the most is backing off. Yeah, and it's hard to tell someone that when they're doing that much already, because like Amory said, you think that more is going to get you out of your rut, and to telling them they need to do less, that is the last thing they want to hear and they don't believe you. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there are very few people that actually make the switch and do less, but truthfully, that's what's gonna fix everything. A lot of times, and this really only goes for the people that are pushing really, really hard many, many days in a row. If you're not getting a whole lot of exercise, but it's still challenging for you, maybe it doesn't make sense to take sure. two or three rest days a week. But for those of you who are pushing, 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 basically, if you're not continuing to make progress, that's your body telling you that something needs to change, yeah. right? So if your body isn't responding in the way that you think it should, based on the stimulus, something's got to give. You see this a lot in traditional weightlifting and in CrossFit. Someone that wants to get into weightlifting gets in the gym and sees these big guys and they're like, man, if I just lift every single day, I'm going to get as big as these guys. And then sure, they get a little bit fitter and they stop and they can't figure out why they're not, they're not getting as big as those other guys. Those other guys that have been doing it for years know that they need to recover mm -hmm. and they do that. Same thing with CrossFit. For some reason, there's a mentality where you just continue to kick the shit out of yourself for hours a day, every day, and you have active recovery days, mm -hmm. which will count as your rest. And an active recovery will be a 10K row, or you know- Or a 10K run, an easy 10K? That's like six miles. What? I would be like crying and vomiting if I tried to do that on a rest day, on a work day, yeah. on an exercise day. It would kill me. So you need a so, true rest day, a yeah. true, true rest day, where you give your body a break mm -hmm. and during that rest day doesn't mean that you don't eat food you or still, you don't move at all yeah you can Two still you can still move go for a walk or something that's like less aggressive than a 10k run and just because you're not lifting that day doesn't mean you don't need to eat anything that day mm -hmm. that's that's not how it works either your body needs nutrients to build what you had just broken down and replenish your glycogen stores and all those things Exercise is stress. I think of it as convincing your body that you're gonna look after it. So if you keep beating your body down and you don't feed it enough, of course it's gonna respond in a way that it doesn't think that you're ever gonna bail it out of this situation of yeah. being super, super tired and depleted and stressed. So it will hang on to body fat or it will cause you to move less in the 23 or 22 hours that you're not in the gym because it's saying to you, oh shit, we're in a yeah. period of time where we don't have enough food and we're asking you know, to expend too much energy. Then it will start to do those incredible biological processes that keep you alive, but make you look and feel like trash. 
It's so, absolutely true. It's like a survival mechanism. You have to let your body know that you're gonna take care of it by eating enough and by giving it rest when it's clearly asking you to do so. Yeah, and not only will rest help you get to that next level in your fitness, whether it's you know hitting a milestone that you set for yourself or getting that new weight that you've never gotten before, but it also prevents injury. Mm -hmm. So the number one thing that prevents people from getting fitter is getting injured. There's nothing that derails your progress more than just not being able to work out for months. Wouldn't it be cooler to just work out five days a week and take two days off or four days a week and take three days off rather than yeah. work out 45 days in a row, get hurt, and then not be able to work out for 45 days? Yeah, What's you that can do the do to your progress. You not can do the five days on, two days off indefinitely. And you can only do the seven days on, zero days <laughs> off for a very limited amount of time. And even if you're lucky enough not to get hurt, your body is probably likely not responding in the way that it could, not as quickly, not as uh, visibly as it might if you gave it a little bit more time to rest and rebuild. Most of the response to what you're doing in the gym occurs when you're out of the gym. So you're doing the work in there and then during the time that you're resting is when your body either builds more muscle or continues to go through your body fat in order yeah. to produce more energy for you, things like that. An easy way to know what to do on your rest day is to count your steps. It might sound dumb and like it's not really exercise, but it's a really good way to measure your NEAT, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is the amount of calories you burn doing things other than your principal workout. So like existing, breathing, <laughs> eating, like walking around, things like that. So. Keeping tabs on that is a really good way to keep yourself accountable in terms of getting enough uh, movement on your rest day without being tempted to push too hard. Yeah, so just take it easy. And if you think that the rest day isn't a workout, you're like, steps, like that's not a workout. It's probably means, that probably means that you need that. Yes, true. So if you immediately think, man, no, that's, I'm just, I'm going to get fat today. I'm not working out. You need this. You yes. need to rest. Don't do whatever you're going to do. If you have serious fears about taking a day off of exercise that beats your ass, you have something else to examine about yourself, okay? Because it's really, really easy to get so addicted to the progress that you make in the beginning that you have a tendency to ramp it up and ramp it up and never give your body the reprieve that it needs to rebuild and bring itself back to baseline. So make sure you're listening to your body and taking care of yourself. Yeah. If you feel like shit, you go into the gym and feel terrible, walk back out of the gym. <laughs> if you're having your rest day and you wanna do 100 swim intervals when you don't usually swim, go home you need it seriously it's good for you and we're not trying to pick on weightlifters or crossfitters a lot of people manage their workouts really really well it's just a theme that we've seen having existed in both of those realms that it can be like culturally one of those things that's very difficult to avoid yeah so more is not always more that's very rarely true <laughs> so make sure you guys take those rest days um if you're the person that works out seven days a week Try five and see how much progress you make after making that change. Trust us, trust us, trust us. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bit of time. You will see and feel the difference. You may have forgotten what it feels like to actually feel good. And that's a pretty important part of being alive. Yeah. If you guys have a friend that does these things, make sure to send this video to them. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching guys. Cool. I don't think I was looking. Sorry. We'll do it again. Sorry. I don't know what my brain just did right there. Oh. But it wasn't anything. Okay. It was nothing. Okay. Okay. We're right. Whoa. <laughs>